use window snapping to be more productive on the Mac. What is up ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I want to talk about another feature of HyperDoc that I use and that is window management. More specifically, window snapping. If you click on window management in the HyperDoc preferences, you will notice here at the top, window snapping. If you make sure that this little check mark box is enabled, then you will be able to use windows like snapping in OS X. It's extremely convenient. This is something I use literally every day, multiple times a day, and I couldn't imagine working on my Mac without window snapping. It really is a great feature, uh, a feature that appeared in Windows first and still hasn't appeared natively on the Mac. I don't know if that's due to you know patents or things of that nature. Maybe it is, but at any rate, HyperDoc is a great way to enable window snapping on OS X. So right here you see the Safari browser. You can see it's big. Now normally if I wanted to resize this to a specific size, I would have to grab the corner of Safari and move it like this and it still doesn't just do right. It just looks kind of goofy and it doesn't resize correctly. No doubt there is a much better way to do this. It's called window snapping. So I'm going to grab the title bar here and I'm just going to drag in the upper left hand corner like this, you see the little shadow window appear and then you just release. And that way it automatically will snap in the upper left hand corner. And then you can do the same thing in the upper right hand corner like that. You can do the same thing in the bottom right hand corner like this. You can do the same in the bottom left hand corner like this. You can do the same thing for the left side of the page like this or left side of the screen or the right side of the screen. Just hold over to the edge and release like that. Or if you want to, you can do the very top of the screen. Let's try that again. Drag up, release, so it gives it like a full screen. Even though it's not in true full screen mode, it makes it full screen. And then if you drag down to the bottom, you can put it in the middle of the screen, snap it to the middle of the screen like that. So you can see how this is a very handy tool. It's also really great for running two apps side by side. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to open up another window. Um, and I have, let's see, let's bring this tab out here. And I'm going to put both of these windows side by side. So I just snap here for this one and then snap here for that one, and now I can scroll both windows side by side just like that. Now say I had another window, I'm gonna open up two more windows actually. I can have four windows on screen at once and see all the content or you know a good majority of the content for all four windows just by using snapping. So you can see what I'm doing here, just putting them in all four corners, there we go. So now I have access to all four windows and I can view them all at the same time, interact with them all at the same time, courtesy of HyperDoc's window snapping abilities. So folks, I hope this was able to help you out. I hope this was able to show you why window snapping is so nice to have. It really does make working on the Mac so much easier and I highly recommend it. Of course, HyperDoc isn't the only tool that allows for window snapping. Actually, it's kind of a basic tool for window snapping. If you really want to go deep with snapping and you really want to have a whole bunch of options, then you can try out Better Snap Tool. Uh, that is a an app you can get off of the Mac App Store. But I still think, you know, HyperDoc has enough options and there are some more advanced options in the you know, snapping or in the Windows management section of HyperDoc's preferences that you can try out and go even deeper with this if you want to. So folks, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.